Chris Boucher is rocking LaMelo shoes. Offensive rebound and sure. Hornets can't get it back. Eventually thrown through by Boucher. And even scoring on him with him. What? Let's talk. All facts. We were kind of pleasantly surprised when we saw Terry Rozier wearing him, and he was on LaMelo's team. Yes, it showed camaraderie, but even more than that, it showed a level of respect. Put some respect on my name. And then we seen an Olympian in the All-Star game rocking the Rick and Mortys. No, no. Oh! And you seen what LaMelo tweeted? He said it's got to be the shoes. Be, be, yeah. And that's why you see him rocking these purple joints. Because if he still wants to be rare and one of one, he's going to have to expand this collection because people are picking them up. Hey, is Melo here? Puma got something to show me? Let's check it out. Ooh, we're both out. Rick and Morty, I always watch the show. Yeah. It's so lit. Rick turn. Morty. Now, besides the purple ones, the Rick and Mortys are the new hottest thing out there. And a lot of kids love the show. Young adults love the show. It's kind of hot right now. So the collab, it just makes sense. And obviously, it's making dollars as well. I did see that Rick and Morty drone up close. It's pretty cool how they made that. But let's get to the moral of the story of this video. LaMelo Ball is being accepted by his peers as that type of guy. I don't care if your shoes look the best. If you're only averaging four points a game, nobody's going to rock them. So this is a testament to really LaMelo being a part of the culture and being a top tier player. And this guy is with Puma, but still, nobody's going to rock your shoe if you're not going off. So I just thought that was cool, him guarding somebody with his shoes on in the NBA. Not that long ago, he was the cherry picking kid from Chino Hills that had you cracking up. Now he's in the All-Star dropping 18 points. You know I keep you updated, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Ball facts again. Peace.